How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. There's one question that I have been asked more than any other question in the comments, and that is, what do I do with all of these projects when I'm done with them? I'll answer that question and a few others in this 2022 showcase video. The first project of the year was this recreation of a survival shelter made by Cyprian Outdoor Adventures. I don't have this one at the shop with me because I packed it up and shipped it to Cyprian himself. I like to imagine that it's somewhere in the wilderness as we speak. The second project was this scratch-built train. The most common question was where is the crew? Uh, I still have yet to add a crew. Next is this TIE Fighter vs Razorcrest diorama. This is the only other one that I don't still have. That's because I gave it to my cousin as a graduation present. How many hours a week, roughly, do I spend on the channel? The build itself takes usually anywhere from 10 to 15 hours, depending on the size. And I would say another 15 to 20 on the voiceover and the editing. Can I make more train videos? I do plan on making more train videos in the future. This one took me 60 hours just to build, which required a lot of mental energy and planning. So I will be spacing out builds of that size. In regards to editing software, for the first year I edited everything on an iPhone. Then I upgraded to an iPad. I used LumaFusion on there. I was on that for a year and a half. And then I upgraded to a computer. Now I use DaVinci Resolve. I've been on that for the past six months. I liked this question, how tall am I? I'm six foot three or 190 centimeters. I'm not sure why you want to know, but thanks for asking. What smaller creators would you like to shout out and provide additional exposure to? Uh, this project right here I did with all of these creators. I'd like to give all of them a shout out as well as all of these people right here. If I had to remake one project, what would it be? There's a lot of things I would do differently on some of my old builds. Uh, but this one, I definitely would have made the water clearer so you could see the fish better. Do I make movie set design mock-ups or work for the film industry? No, I do not. Uh, I have another full-time job that has absolutely nothing to do with miniatures and dioramas. All of this is just for YouTube. What is my favorite project to date? I don't necessarily have one that is my favorite, but this one and a few others are kind of tied for first. I will list all of those in the description. Was I sick when I recorded? Yes, I was actually. For the Yellowstone video, the snake video, and the Geonosis battle, all of those you can hear my voice is very off, and that is because I got COVID. Then right afterwards, I got really bad allergies. So over this entire season from Star Wars Day till about a month later, my voice was all weird. What camera am I using? I've only used two cameras since I started on YouTube. First was an iPhone 11, now I shoot on a Fujifilm X-T4. What is my favorite scale to work in? Most often I'm working in 1 to 70 second scale, but I probably prefer 1 to 144 or 1 to 35. What advice would I give to someone who is new to the hobby? I would say start with a model kit, something that you're interested in, whether it's military or Gundam or Star Wars, and then build some terrain to go along with it. By the time you're done, you will have learned a few new techniques, and the next time you can take on a bigger project. Do I play D&D or other RPGs? Uh, at this point, I have not. The only tabletop miniature related games that I have played have been war games, including Star Wars Legion and Games Workshop's Middle Earth miniature game. Have I ever drunk Baileys from a shoe? I can't say that I have actually. Where do I get my music from? I have a few subscriptions to royalty-free music sites. Did the dragon from Shrek have a name? Um, probably. I'm sure we could find out if we looked online. Where do I get my models? I get most of them in store at my local hobby store. I prefer it that way, but I will order online from time to time if I have to. What types of lights are those and where can I find them? I'll link them in the description. I've had a hard time finding them anywhere but AliExpress. 
A great way for beginners to incorporate electronics into their dioramas is to take apart some tea light candles and rearrange them and rewire them uh, to learn the basics of electronics. How do people figure out the scaling for models? I'll put the formula for that on the screen. What got me started in the hobby and where would I like to go with it? I actually answered some of these questions in a podcast that I did with Tinu, who I collaborated with to make this project. I will link that in the description. You should go check it out uh, to hear more. What is my favorite Star Wars movie? I probably have to say Empire Strikes Back uh, and then the other two originals, but I also really did like Rogue One. How do I come up with my ideas? Actually, it's a little different every time. Sometimes I'm inspired by some pop culture thing. Other times I have a failed print like this one and I'm inspired to do something with it. Uh, this project actually, oddly enough, I completed while I was on a jury. Why is my logo a fish? When I started this channel, I wanted something thematically unrelated to modeling and crafting. So I went with my favorite fish, which is a peppermint angel fish or Centripage Boili. Did I do other art before making dioramas? Yes, I did actually. In this diorama, you can see some of that. I used to paint a lot on canvas. I have also done quite a bit of photography. Next year, can I do a collaboration with North of the Border? Uh, I'm down. Uh, you're gonna have to go ask Adam about that one. For this build, I would like to thank all 90 people who told me that the wind was incorrect. In regard to your concerns though, uh, the Flying Dutchman is a ghost ship, and as we all know, ghost ships use ghost wind, which goes the opposite direction of normal wind. Do I like Napoleon Dynamite? That is a super random question, but I really like it, and yes, I do like Napoleon Dynamite, but probably not as much as I like Nacho Libre. It's the best. Here is my town series so far. Is there a way to space out the buildings so that they are not so crowded? Yes, by the end of the Wild Imaginary Western Town build, everything will be filled out. There will be roads and other things to make it look more like a natural town and not just a cluster of buildings. Do I plan to make any stories or comics in the Wild Imaginary West? I can't promise any specific formats for the stories, but yes, there are stories that I am working on in the Wild Imaginary West. I had this diorama sitting on a shelf and a mouse came in and stole all of the branches from the trees. I'm not sure why it liked these branches, it didn't steal the branches from any of the other dioramas. I'll fix that eventually, but otherwise, here is the rest of the Wild Imaginary West. Do I make any of these projects without recording? Uh, not very often. I have made a few though, including this one. It was mostly just the base as a display for my little Mando figure. And that brings us to the question, what do I do with all of these projects when I'm done with them? I've seen some people suggesting that I throw them away when I'm done, which is absolutely not true. I have only ever thrown one project away and it was because it was a failed resin pour. Everything else, with the exception of a few, I still have. I'm not displaying them in a very impressive way right now. I have had to buy new shelving to house everything, but sometime in the future, I will build a nice display for everything. And when that day comes, I will be sure to show all of you. The last question is, what are my plans for 2023? I have one more build before this year is done, and then next year, we'll see what happens. Probably more dioramas. <laughs>